Good morning. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to take a look at trying to find some information on the support.ca.com website. For today's purposes, we'll be looking at an eHealth problem. So I was using eHealth, and I realized that I was missing some information from my reports. And when I went and looked at the logs, I saw this error. Now, this error tells me that there's something going on with SQL, and it's having a problem creating some segments in the database. And we also see that there's an Oracle error. Now, Oracle errors are really good for searching on because um, they're keywords in most, in most issues, so that would be a good place to start. So let's take that error, and let's log into support.ca.com. We're actually on the CA homepage, so we'll just go to support, CA support online. Alternatively, you could just go to support.ca.com, and it would bring you to the same place. Once we get here, we'd go, like to go ahead and log in. You will get better results in your search if you're logged in. And this is just a generic account that I'm using for this particular demonstration. So now that we know that we've got an Oracle error, the first thing I'd like to do is go and look at the documentation for the product that I'm working with today. As I mentioned, we're working with eHealth. So we'll go here and we'll go to documentation. And we have the choice of entering the bookshelf name. So we'll enter eHealth. And we see it matches up rather quickly. And 63207 English is the latest version, so we'll go ahead and choose that, and then we'll choose Go. Now here we see the bookshelf, and we have a couple of options here. We can look at any individual guide. They're all broken down by category, and you can click on one and look at that guide. Or you could download the entire bookshelf in a zip format. Um, but for our purposes, we're actually going to do a search interactively through this bookshelf. And that search is going to be for the Oracle error that we saw. And one thing that I did notice is when I when I copied that, there was a um, single quote there. So I'll remove that, make my search better, and we'll do a search. And we noticed that it didn't match anything in this particular bookshelf. Now, as I state, we could um, we could just go back and we could download this bookshelf to keep it locally. Um, but for our purposes, we'd like to go ahead and continue searching. So we're going to go back a few pages. Go back to support online, and um, we'll do a search here, which gives me the, the search on the other page was, was in context. We only search within the bookshelf that we were on, but here on the main support page, the search will be a greater greatest search. So, and remember that we do have that single quote there. And let's see what we get on a match for this one. So searching on just the Oracle era on the actual support homepage, we see we get a rather larger group. We've got um, six results. And the first one talks about uh, Oracle message for that particular error. And it mentions a legacy knowledge base. So let's go and see what we've got there. And Report failure is due to the Oracle's unable to allocate. So this looks really good. This is an exact match on a problem. And there's the exact solution to fix that problem. And so that's pretty good. Now, I would like to see if I could find a little more information about this particular command, which is the command that I would be using to add the table space. So let me go back here and search again. And this time, I'll search on the command rather than the error. And we see, oh, a lot of good returns. So there are a lot of different um, information pieces here. There's a couple of knowledge bases about how to use it. There's one was having a problem using it. There's a syntax to use it. That's probably the best one for our particular needs. And this would answer any questions if, if the other knowledge base article wasn't really clear. So here we do see the proper syntax, and it does give me some choices here. So that's really good. It looks like um, the knowledge that we searched for was readily available. We were able to find it um, not immediately in the document set, but immediately on the support central site 
And so we ended up with a good search and good results. Good luck. Thank you very much.